Okay, in this video we're going to look at cleaning dirty water from a tank. We'll answer these four questions. And let's just quickly go over what this is all about. So here we're going to suppose there are initially 20 pounds of a contaminant in a large tank of water. So the tank is a lot, can hold a lot more than just 20 pounds of dirt, right? There's a big tank of water. Swimming pool size okay say or or smaller but more than 20 pounds anyway assume that the cleaning method removes 15 percent of the remaining contaminant each hour the cleaning method is here's your tank of contaminated water okay you connect uh, inlet clean water goes into the tank then you gotta stir it up stir it okay and then water comes out here. Now, of course, this water com that comes out isn't just, you know, it's not just dirty. It's it it's got some of the clean water that came in with it as well. But uh, of course, it's taken out some of the contaminant, you know. So, um, but basically, what you're looking at is the percentage of contaminant here reduces by a bit every hour so so clean water comes in you mix it up and then mix water comes out all at the same time really because you're stirring constantly right but in any case you know theoretically you never get all of the contaminant you know out because it just reduces by a certain amount and here we're reducing the amount of contaminant by 15 percent each hour so let's just start with the first part. How many pounds remain after one, two, three, or ten hours? So we'll just do a little table here. Number of hours. And what? Amount remaining, isn't it? So for all this, this again is exponential decay and notice that a lot of things we do with an exponential decay is amount remaining like we look at um, uh, radiation you're talking about the amount uh, of the chemical remaining so after one hour well after zero hours we have 20 pounds still right initially after one hour what remains we remove 15% each hour, so after one hour, how much is, is removed? Can you do that? Press pause and try it. Well, you take your 20, and you re remove, subtract 15% of 20, right? Of course, you can write that 20 minus, and what's 15% is a decimal? 0.1. Five, right? Of means what? Multiply, right? And if so, this is just to quickly remind ourselves of the uh, formula, or see where it comes from. You see, now we've got 20 minus 0 0.15 times 20. If you want, you can pull that out with the distributive property. And if 20 comes out, what's left on the inside? If you pull that out by reversing the distributive law, you've got 20 times 1 right would give 20 minus 0 0.15 okay so and you can calculate that and this can also be written if you like 20 times 0 0.85 in other words there's 85 percent left if there's if 15 percent of it is removed uh, there's 85 percent remaining so I forgot to put this here amount remaining right so we can go ahead and calculate that I'm just going to put it up like this 20 times uh, 0 0.85 oops uh, tired sorry 20 times 0 0.85 you probably got it a long time ago so there's 17 pounds remaining after one hour so after one hour of the clean water coming in, it all being stirred up and this mixed uh, water, you know, going out or the contaminated water, 
you've got 17 pounds remaining. How much is remaining after two hours? Well, you can do 17 minus 15% of 17 if you like, right? Because you've got 17 in there, but then after another hour it's going to re remove 15% of what's left over, you see. So that's 17 minus 0 0.15 times 17, right? Or 17... Anyway, this is, or in other words, 17 uh, minus, and if we multiply that, we get 2.25, or 2.55. So, up here, you see, we had 20 minus, 0.15 times 20 is 3. We removed 3 pounds of contaminant in the first hour. In the second hour, we remove 2.55 pounds. We actually remove less because because we have less to work with. There's only 17 pounds in here now, in the sec during the second hour, and so that's why 15% of that is 2.55. So don't remove as much in the second hour. In any case, um, you can write this as 17 times 1 minus 0 0.15, or uh, again just for fun, that 17 is the same thing as 20 times uh, 1 minus 0 0.15. So as a formula this can be written 20 times this thing squared, right? So it's the amount you begin with at the very start times uh, 1 minus the rate, the percentage, to the power of t, the time. So it's, it's same as the exponential growth formula, only uh, you're subtracting. Okay. So in any case, uh, we didn't even calculate what that was. But 17, 17 minus 2.55 is 14.45, or we could do 20 times 1 minus point 0.15 all squared and that of course is 14.45 but I'm just going to put the um, of course you can also write that as 20 times 0 0.85 all squared same thing right or 14.45 uh, right so how much is remaining in the tank after three hours can you press pause and do that? Press pause and calculate for three hours. Once again, you start with how much? 20. And then it's 1 minus whatever the percentage rate is, which is 15%, right? to the power of the time, and that's the formula, right? And then you can calculate that. So 12.2825, or approximately, uh, to two decimal places, to two decimal places, that would be 12.28. Right? How about 10 hours? How much is remaining after 10 hours? Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'll do it now. So you got 20 and then times 1 minus the percentage to the power of what? To the power of 10, right? and calculate that and we get 3.9374 etc round that to two decimal places and you have 3.94 pounds remaining after 10 hours okay all right part b 
Find an exponential formula that gives the number of pounds of contaminant left in the tank after T hours. Press pause and do that if you like. I'll help you um, now if you hope you you might want to try it. But uh, basically, your number of hours is now T. So if your number of hours is T, how much contaminant remains? Oh, when number of hours was 3, it was this to the power of 3. When number of hours is 10, it was this thing to the power of 10. So isn't it this thing to the power of t, which can also be written 20 times 0 0.85 to the power of t, right? So we can say the amount remaining, so if hours is t, the amount remaining a equals 20 times uh, 0 0.85, let's say, to the power of t, right? Or 1 minus 0 0.15, whichever way you want to do it is correct. So that's part B. Now part C. How much contaminant is removed during the first four hours? Interesting. How about this? What does our formula do for us? What does our formula give us? The formula, you see, gives amount removed or amount remaining. It gives r amount remaining So our amount, what's the amount remaining after four hours? It's A equals 20 to the power of, 20 times, and you could either go 1 minus 15% or 0 0.85, whichever you prefer, to the power of what? What's the amount remaining after four hours? That, right? So the amount remaining after four hours is this. So we calculate that. And we get approximately two decimal places, 10.44. But what is the amount removed after four hours? That's the question. This is the amount remaining, 10.44 pounds. What is the amount removed? What did we begin with? So don't we take the um, initial amount, which is 20, and then subtract whatever is remaining what, what's remaining 10.4 right won't that give us the amount that was removed right so if you subtract it uh, take the initial amount 20 pounds subtract whatever is remaining after four hours and that will tell you how much you've removed after four hours right so do this calculator if you want. So we get six, five, uh, nine. Nine point five six pounds removed after four hours. Does that make sense? So how about D? How much contaminant is removed from the 11th to the 15th hour of the cleaning process? How about, um, let's look at our table here, number of hours, and what was our formula? Amount remaining, right? 
amount remaining equals the initial amount times your 1 minus or times your 0 0.85 let's say to the power of t right so if you plug in 11 you're going to what are you going to calculate over here amount remaining right to the power of 11 you're going to calculate the amount remaining after 11 hours right so what does that give you So we should calculate that to be, let's give it three decimal places just so we have something to work with. Three point, because the answer might need to be two decimal places or something like that. Anyway, we'll give ourselves three decimal places just so we, we don't make a mistake while we're calculating. So after 11 hours, there's this many pounds remaining, right? So how much contaminant is removed from the 11 to the 15th hour? Well, let's figure it out for 15. If I plug in 15 here, I'll get the amount remaining after 15 hours, right? So it'll be 20 times 0 0.85 to the power of 15, right? Round that to three decimal places. one point seven four seven pounds so can we now answer the question with the numbers we figured out so the the water is turned on the clean water it comes in and the it's the, this is stirred and the dirty water goes out and this goes on for eleven hours to which point we have a little over three pounds of dirt remaining in the tank water tank and then after 15 hours, which is four hours later, right? From here to here is four hours of cleaning later. We have 1.7 pounds left in the tank about, okay? So how do we figure out how much has been removed from this hour to this hour? Well, do we subtract? Because think of it this way, if there was 10 pounds at this hour, and if there was 7 pounds left in this hour, wouldn't that mean that there was 3 pounds removed between here and here? Does that make sense? So wouldn't you just subtract, right? Right, so we're just going to subtract. So we take the this number and subtract this number and see what we get. So 1.600, so uh, we could say 1.6 pounds removed between hours 11 and 15, if that makes sense, between the 11th and 15th hour, right? And that's a four hour period. But isn't it in so that's the answer. But isn't it interesting to compare that to C where this is amount removed after the first sorry, I should have put this in. How much contaminant is removed during the first four hours? That was part C. So I want to put this in here into this sentence. Amount removed after first four hours was nine point almost ten pounds. Whereas between the 11th and 15th hour, we only removed 1.6 pounds, right? 1.6 pounds between these hours, 11 and 15, almost 10 pounds removed at the very beginning. And that makes sense, doesn't it? But that, that's how these things go. Because as this process is going on, in the tank, the tank is getting cleaner and cleaner and cleaner. 
so it's harder to catch the dirt so to speak I mean there's not much there's not there's less dirt to work with to take out 